we're gonna take it to our studio. It's part of Air Hollywood. They're about to lift the cockpit up and take it out. Daryl, Daryl, you go down. Welcome to Air Hollywood, the safest airline in the world. Basically everything you can imagine that films on an, on an airplane or in an airport is usually done in our studio. It's a, it's a very unique facility. We have about close to 100,000 square feet. We have a lot of aircraft inside and we have aircraft outside. So it's pretty very unique place. Now we're doing the final touches to it, which is really making it film friendly. So that way we can take all the instruments out and make it really very efficient and see how we're gonna film on real cockpit on, in movies. Looking at the 777 cockpits flying Air Hollywood, the world's safest airline for sure. This is the back of the cockpit. We have to take it out so that way we can do uh, a phony wall. Do you sell something like this? Because I know a lot of collectors like myself will probably want to have an airplane jump seat at home, right? We do sales and rental from all over our facility. This is uh, the actual windows from a 747-100. And this is where, right now, we are preparing for an Air Force One wall. So we are building Air Force One, and we start with a sample like this. Wow, I really like this part here. This is a galley. Wow, I couldn't imagine people are so creative here, turning all the pieces of leftover inside the airplane, take them out from the graveyard, and now turn them into airline collectibles and furniture. This is a part of the wing that we took out. It used to be a bar and the client came in, he really liked it very much, but he asked us if can you do desk. So since this is actually already a leftover from the desk you create for your client, can I take this part home? Yes, if you live in Africa, that would be a good thing for you to do. Go yeah, to I'm from Kenya. My name is Chui. It means <laughs> Lilper. I'm a powerful guy from Kenya. Come on, dude. You know, one man's junk is another man's treasure. Look at the stuff here, this window panel, and there's even a phone from the cockpit. Hello. Sam, when you walk into our studio, the first thing you'll see, you'll see it's a time, international time in different locations around the world. So here, can you guess what cities are these? Can you guys guess, if you're a freaking traveler, you would know every city of this. Nice chair, such a great lounge here, airplane furniture is everywhere. Whoa, yeah, it's comfy, huh? So the big question is how much it would cost for a pair of seats like this for my lounge? Isn't this cool slam dunk? This is as fun as you can get. A moving airplane trolley with a basketball court on top. You can slam dunk anytime you want. This is uh, an original the skin of an aircraft window, a single window. And so what we do is we create your logo and we can put it in here and uh, we can do any colors you want. This is just the beginning. This is like 10%. You have not seen 10% of what we have. Come and take a look at our prep house. Stop, look for aircraft. So, oh my gosh, this what is, is this? House. We have almost everything that you need for an airport or an airplane. Wait a minute, I felt like I was in the terminal with all the uh, flight display, look at all the seats. This is so impressive. It's got probably every type of security here. You got the round one, the scanner. You got this walkthrough scanner. <laughs> Where did you get all of these stuff from, Talat? We buy them from the manufacturers. So that way, it make it easier for a film production company to come in here and pick and choose what they want so they can film. Where's my quarter? <laughs> this is an original kiosk for US immigration for the global uh, entry. So basically, we got that literally, we bought it from the US government. Wow. And, but inside is completely empty, but it's only used for filming. This kiosk usually used for an airline right at the gate when you arrive. Basically, you just plug in and you set up your boarding pass and everything. So what would you like, chicken or beef? Wow, only $3? That's cheap. LAX is $5. Come on, man, where's my clock? <laughs> Imagine you walk into an airport terminal right now. Come, let me show you. This is the SkyCab. 
That's wow. What they, that's what they use. And these are all the counters, a different counter, different color. Different style chicken counters. Yes. Oh my God. So basically director can, uh, they come in here and prop dressers, they come in here and they pick and choose what they like, what color that they want, and they can put their own logo on it. Whatever interior you need, from food to uh, dishware, to uh, make the, the scene really real, you have to use real stuff. We use everything you see here, it's originally from an Indian aircraft. We have a tablecloth, we have trays for economy seats, before chicken we have all that exactly what they need and we have all every utensils and everything that you can imagine for a real flight we have even we have towels even safety cards we have we made these special with no airline name on them so that way it's easy for any production company to use them and we have lots of them so everybody and they love when they come in here everything is great He's got even fake beer. This is not a Heineken, it's called Brenner. And instead of Budweiser, this is just a generic beer bottle for the filming. We have life jacket for crew and for passengers. So basically we have enough for the entire airplane. Blankets, different color they can choose from. For first class in economy, we have pillows and we have headrests so they can pick and choose. The seat belt, even the seat belt, different colors. We use our own so we can put in. Oh. We can put in any airline you like. This is uh, our luggage. We have new luggage, we have vintage, we have all kind of luggage. Oh my gosh, this is like my grandfather's luggage. Look at this shape here. Like, remember these locks on the two sides? It goes like this. Oh, right, it opens. Wow. I'm looking for Air Hollywood. Where is it? No terminal sign, Air Hollywood. This is one of our stages. This is stage one. We have many different things in here for use. We have all these airplane seats. And then we have a 767 cockpit. This is what we call a digital cockpit, where everything is kind of a digital, and that's what they use. Depends on the period that they're filming in. It's all ready to go. We just slide it up and we basically, all the production company are ready to film in here. This is all our electric. What we do is we move all the instruments out and rewire everything and we have them all ready to go. So that means when the pilot or in the movie, they want to change things, we do it from here. Come take a look. This is our 727 cockpit. Everything is analog. This is like the old days. This is the original cockpit from the movie Airplane. Do you remember Captain Otto? This yeah. is called Air. This is called Air 880. This is the original cockpit, the way they filmed the movie Airplanes. It's one of a kind. It's, there's nothing like it. Welcome to our terminal. This is Air Hollywood terminal. It's one of a kind. It has total control. You can do whatever you want to do right here. Take a look. Oh my God, this is indeed an airport terminal. Wow. This is the only airport I can come through security check in the breeze. Now I'm gonna board on my flight. You know, the most popular movies are filmed here is uh, Bridesmaid. Bridesmaid was filmed on this airplane. We also did the Grey's Anatomy. We've done a lot of TV show, every Modern Family. The Wolf of Wall Street was filmed here. We also did Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So we do almost every movie. We do commercial, we do a Nike commercial, we do an Apple commercial. I'm on board Air Hollywood. Every seat here is a first class seat. This is our narrow body. This is a 737. As you can see, everything is structured that we can move everything around so we can film in every direction. Come, let me show you how they film these days right now with the coronavirus, with the social distancing. Here we go. <laughs> this is how we should travel post coronavirus, right? 
we're just gonna have one row of seats. Who's gonna complain leg room? Leg room is never gonna problem. Social distancing, no problem at all. Well, it's actually pretty cool to see beneath the skin of the airplane when you remove the skin, the fuselage, and this is what it looks like actually beneath the skin. I'm taking these seats, Sam. Wait, you're stealing seats out of the airplane. Yeah, don't tell Talat, but these are Air Canada seats and I really want a set for my collection. Okay. Hope they fit. That was good. I squeeze. That's how you steal an airplane seat out of the plane. Of course, the most important room is the bathroom for filming as well. These uh, fuselages. So here we did the horses with Emirates Airlines. And this is all oil painting that it takes at least a couple of months to do one. And these are the one with lips. And basically, as you can see, it's really a beautiful piece. And this one with all the horses in it. And uh, this is all, you know, great artists who does these things for us. Tala, tell me the code, man. I need to get into the carpet. I want to go to the carpet to see the pilots. Tell me the code here. Uh, coronavirus 19. C-O-C-O-V-I-D 19. Yes. Open. What? There's no carpet. <laughs> it's a fuselage inside. What the heck? This is a vintage air stairs. It's original, and then you can expand it. It comes out on the airplane. This is originally, we get this from Landing Research Center from NASA. It's beautiful. Sam, welcome to my office. This is a one of a kind office. It's very rare. You never be able to find something like that. My desk, the airplane, the collection, all my, this is all my travel. These are all my boarding passes from all around the world. I've been saving them for 30, 40 years. Uh, this is my world pass statement, and this is from 1984. And these are all the flights that I made, and it just brings a lot of memory. And look at this, every boarding pass from different airlines around the world. Cameroon Airlines, you know, this is a great memory when I wow. went to West Africa. This is my ticket, flying first class on Cameroon Airlines. I see, first class, F. Yeah. Wow, handwritten ticket, how much did that cost? I can't remember, it's been such a long time. Wow. And it shows it's a 1984. This is a, a Pan Am from Lagos, Morovia to New York, $1,900. And that's the first class. It was in December 1983. I made that trip. Very unique piece of wallpaper. Well, I don't know who else does this. Put all your luggage tag, boarding pass, become the best wallpaper of memories. Would you like to have a drink, Sam? Yes, please. What would you like? We have a mile high, or we have a monkey rum. I keep a lot of my stuff is in here, and I have a whole collection right here. Sam, look at this. This is our wine cellar, made out of a 747 engine column. So basically, you put your wine in here, and here it is. Awesome way to keep your wine and if you're in love with aviation. Come in, take a look at this. This is a 747 engine cowling bar. It's done with acrylic and we cut all the glass so that way the light can go through. All the detail, this is all cut and polished 100%. It took really like months to do this. In case you have a, a smaller room and you cannot fit in a 747, you can use a 737 engine cowling and we can make that into a bar as well. Well, Tala, thank you so much showing me Air Hollywood. To me, Air Hollywood is like one part of film in television, one part of Hollywood, and a lot of F-geek here. Absolutely, this is what we're all about. <laughs>